But Dave, when I was cruising around your booth, I saw something really funky and cool over there. Do you let's, think maybe we could go have a look? Let's take a walk. Okay. So for our American market, we've got a pistol version of what's called the Strebog Carbine. So this is an American configuration gun. It's got a slightly shorter receiver than you're going to see in Canada. Uh, another notable difference, I mean, this comes with an 8-inch pistol barrel. Standard barrel for the Canadian version is 10 inches, but we will have an 18.6 as well. Another change, uh, apparently uh, key mod has fallen out of favor, so M-Lock is now apparently going to be the standard. Like all of our Grand Power pistols, the controls on the Strebog are ambidextrous. So you've got your mag catch on both sides, you've got your bolt release on both sides. The uh, cocking handle is on one side, but you can switch it to the other. Uh, the magazine is proprietary, it's a double feed like a lot of the uh, submachine gun style pistols. For uh, the Canadian market, I have a choice. We can bring it in with our own folding stock or we have here uh, demonstrated it's an AR-15 stock buffer so you can put on the AR-15 style stock of your preference. So for the 18.6 inch barrel, yeah, it's going to be long. We may have to figure out extra pricing on a new case to accommodate it. But so in the, in the, in the works is an 18.6 Absolutely. Barrel. I wouldn't consider bringing in anything but a non-restricted version. I love the restricted. I shoot out of range. Yep. I don't care. But yeah, I know everyone's going to want a non-restricted model. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Yeah, but we shouldn't have to worry about the uh, so-called uh, non-restricted tax. No, it'll be whatever it costs me as an extra for casing. The barrel is going to cost me a little bit more, not much. So, right now, uh, for the U.S. market, this version is supposed to be MSRP at about $800 U.S. Okay. The Canadian version is going to be featuring a slightly different bolt system. This was configured as a direct blowback. For the Canadian spec model, we're asking for the dynamic bolt that we've got for the system. It's a dual mass system, it's like a hesitation lock, it tampens the felt recoil a heck of a lot. Uh, I think, frankly, our Canadian customers are going to enjoy it, so I'm not settling for less. It does come with the flip-up sights, but I figure 90% of our customers are going to have their own optics on it. Want to give it a try? <laughs> This is going to be awesome and non-restricted version. That's I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that somebody is listening and they're bringing in both models. That's that's awesome. Now, for takedown and service, if you can handle your AR-15, you should be able to handle this. It just uses a push pin lower. Now we've actually glued that one in place, so we don't have uh, too many people playing with it. But for actual disassembly, it's just dropping the push pin, lifting the upper out. You have to remove the back plate by pushing it down slightly and then that out. The bolt carrier group comes out. If you really want to, the barrel is held into the trunnion with double lock nuts. So it's a barrel wrench with four teeth that actually will interface. Uh, which, depending on how I get the gun packaged for Canada, I may have to include a wrench with every gun. <laughs> I think not only because not many people are going to want to have to disassemble the barrel before they transport it to the range, but... Awesome stuff coming from Grand Power. Dave, thank you for letting us uh, play with all your cool guns, and we'll definitely be talking to you in the future. You're more than welcome. Thank you.